KG Ketchup time. And I am way behind, but there's just so much stitching and fun stuff and, you know, stuff going on that, yeah. Okay, I think I got the focus locked. <laughs> it's hard to see the little button. Um, how have you guys been doing? I haven't had a video for a couple of days, but it's just, I've just been busy, 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 busy. And yeah, just busy. <laughs> I'd like to say, cause there's so much going on, but really it's just life. <laughs> um, my last video was a haul video. So of course I have to use some of those supplies in my first page today because it's so pretty. <laughs> I love simple stories. It's just so pretty. But anyways, I am going to use up a bunch of the ephemera that um, came in that collection. If you didn't see that, it is the Simple Stories um, Vintage Cottage Fields collection. And I have, I think, all of it except for like the chipboard stuff. So, um, basically, this is Monday and Tuesday of last week. So that would have been... I don't know, the 20 something. <laughs> I'm on the ball. I'm so caught up. <sighs> I almost didn't do any of these videos. I thought I'm just going to, um, I, I'm just going to put, <laughs> I'm just going to get them done and not worry about it. But anyways, let's see. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So this is the 22nd and 23rd. And I was able to get my 52 tags handmade challenge done. It was all pinks. We had to do the bullion stitch, the pistol stitch, and I don't remember what else. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago and I've forgotten already. Bullion stitch, pistol stitch, and French knots. And so um, I will, it, I have a video on this, but I'll pop up a photo um, of how that turned out. And it was a lot of fun. I love that challenge so much. It's, it's just great fun. Um, it, it's for all skill levels too. You really don't have to be a pro at this. Obviously, I'm not a pro at this, <laughs> like on any level. So um, yeah. I got another one of my counted cross stitch patterns done, the little flower ones. And I'm really proud of those because it's my first counted, official counted cross stitch. And so um, that turned out really, really cute. I forgot to put tape. <laughs> I just used the sticker. Told you, scatterbrain today. But um, I'm doing a four... Uh, four panels and then I'm going to turn them into each little individual um I don't know just little like ornaments but it's not an ornament and then I'm going to put them in a shadow box with flowers and stuff at least that's that's the hopeful plan um and yeah and I tried to find so that's the plan for that um, I ordered two new kits well, that's not true. I ordered a new kit and then I found a really pretty or, or a really cute freebie I want to do. Um, bunny butts. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> and we have wild bunnies, so I thought it was fitting um, for us, for a, a cross stitch pattern for me to do because it's bunny butts and we have bunnies. <laughs> wild bunnies. Um, but anyways, that that's they're on order and I ordered all the floss and stuff for that and fabric. And so that'll be coming soon. And I'm all things stitchy right now, all things stitchy. Although Angela Carr, um, yeah, I forgot. I know every time, um, Angela Kerr posted a new 
series, I guess is what it's called. She's going to do an inspiration journal type thing with her envelopes. And I don't know if I'm going to jump in on that one until she does post a little bit more because right now she just did the journal cover. So I want to see what, um, what she plans to do with that. But I suspect that one will probably be my paper challenge. So, um, and I'm, I'm pretty much going to just bag my faded missives journal right now. Um, I'm kind of thinking I might just box all that up and give it away. Um, well, I didn't, I didn't plan that very well. You're gonna let me pull you up. Yay, thank you. Plan better. Okay, hold on here. Focus, 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 focus. Okay, so way up. All right. <laughs> Plan B. Anyways, um, so I might um, jump in on, on that one. And then, um, cause I have a binder, I have several binders that would be nice to be used up for that. Um, and then she did a fabric cover on her, on her, um, journal cover and so we'll see how that goes. See if that's. Sparks my interest. But I do like her style a lot. But I think it's, it's, what I like about it is the paper she uses. Benny! Oh, he jumped into a box I have on the couch. It's teetering on the edge of the couch. <laughs> It didn't take kindly to him jumping into it. Um, stupid cat. <laughs> I love him, but he's not a brainchild. Um, but yeah, so what are we doing here? What's wrong? I don't know why all of a sudden this has started gumming up. I mean, the needle goes all the way in. So why is it gumming up? I wonder if there's a way to clean out these tips. I'll have to look into that. Nope, it's just plugged up, whatever's in there. Okay. Um. <laughs> Penny sidetracked me and now I can't remember what I was talking about, which was probably a good thing. Oh yeah, Angela Kerr. And so we'll see how um, that, ch that, it's not a challenge, um, adventure in envelopes goes. Um, but anyways, this picture down here was, I cleaned out my cedar chest of all my quilts and stuff. And basically I posted on social media, get rid of it or keep it. Because they're, they all came, some of them I can't remember. Dale and I can't remember who gave them to us or where they came from. And then other ones just hold bad memories and stuff like that. So I was like, what do I do with this stuff? And the general consensus was get rid of it. <laughs> and so I'm going to get rid of it. Or I did get rid of most of it. Um, I kept the ones that meant something to me and the rest of them I dropped off at Goodwill. Letting them go. Don't know where they came from or I do and there's no reconciling that relationship and it brings back good bad memories. So there's no point in keeping something that I'm just going to keep in a box so that Joshua when I'm dead and gone can go, what the hell was this? Because <laughs> he won't know either. Um, or whatever. 
Anyways, and so these pictures are of, I, Dale and I built a floor frame for my cross stitch. I need to get it sanded and, and stuff, but this is, this is, it's in progress. And then I have to, I have, this is, like I said, last Monday, Tuesday, last week. And so now it's, he's routered all the edges on it and it, it looks so good. And then when it warms up, I'm going to stain it, um, a really dark walnut stain, but I wanted something that I could use that would, I could use it on the couch and something I could use at my desk, um, but that sits on the floor and they are expensive, like hundred dollar range expensive and or more i mean oh some of them were woo, 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 woo. but most of them i had to sit close to the frame in order for them to um in order for the me to reach them to sew on and that's not going to work for what how where i wanted to sit and my couch is one of those really deep couches that um you know, when you sit back, you're like a mile from the front of the couch. <laughs> and I love it. My husband hates it, but I don't care. I love the couch and it's pretty. Uh, but anyways, um, so it had to, I wanted to build something to my own specs, if you know what I mean. And so we did. And trial and error later, we made it happen and it turned out so good. And we like, like I said, this, the, I'll put, put the pictures up, but this is just when we've got it kind of tacked together, um, making sure it would do what, what we wanted and where we wanted it to be and, um, that kind of thing. And then I will, a couple days, it, I think this week I'll get, we got, we're going to get the router, routering done on it. Um, which is really cool considering we bought this router, we used it once and then it went in the attic <laughs> and that's been 10 years, 10, 15 years. So it's kind of nice to be able to dig it out and use it. And Dale did a great job on it. And, but this is, this is when we were just getting it put together. And so Benny was supervising from the couch cause he's, that's what he does is he makes sure we do it right. Um, cause he's, he's special. He's a perfect manager. I always tell Dale he, he could work at work because he's a perfect manager. But, um, anyways, uh, so that's what those pictures are of is that we finally got it to stand up. <laughs> it, it was touch and go there for a little while. I wasn't quite sure it was going to go, but, um, yeah and then these last photos are basically uh dinner <laughs> because i haven't posted food photos for a while because i haven't really been making how did i have that i haven't really been making um Making a lot of food that I've been taking photos of. I've really gotten, I don't know. I'll be honest. I've kind of run out of steam on doing my recipes that I post all the time because it life is just different now. And I don't know. I just, I don't think anybody cares. After all this pandemic stuff and the focus on, illnesses and all that and nothing has changed nobody's changed their food nobody's changed their eating nobody's changed their health and they're all the vaccine's gonna fix it all and and so it's just kind of it, at some point I've just kind of gone I'm over it um I need tape maybe I'll just use a label but um it, it's there's more to it than that but I just that's kind of where I'm sitting on that but um, I, we, we, ha nothing's changed in our eating. We eat the same as we always have. Um, 
I just haven't been posting as much of the food stuff. Um, Benny. Benny's in the box. All right, so I'm thinking maybe it, the good life. Do I have that anywhere on here? No, okay. That'd probably work. So I want to just use this color, but I don't see. I could bring in a bit of pink since I brought in pink there. What do we got here? Eh, I'm not going to worry about it. What do we got here? Um, it needs to be a little bigger though, so I'm gonna have to use a label. A label sticker. <laughs> Thought this through, didn't I? Let's use this one. But um I made Okay, it's not perfectly straight, but I won't tell. We made this creamy farro mushroom yumminess and stuffed it into spaghetti squash. Uh, the recipe is on my Living Whole Food plant-based page. It's really simple. It uses a lot of greens and grains and roasted squash and definitely beginner friendly. I got to put different tape on that because it's never going to stick. Let's do some glue because <laughs> why not? Um, but it's really easy and I love spaghetti squash that way. Um, it's, it's a squash that I never really used to use before. And then we became, you know, plant-based and now it, do I want to put it on top or Yeah, let's do it on top. Um, now it we use it for a lot of things. We don't use it to replace pasta because there's no reason not to eat pasta. I know. Oh my God, carbohydrates. We're going to die. No, carbs are not bad. It's what the carbs are made into that are. But again, I'm not a 30 minute, 30 second commercial to tell you your health life. So I, nobody believes me. Um, but we eat pasta. No, you can't live on pasta. That's it's it's a highly processed food, but it there's nothing wrong with eating it. I, you don't need to avoid pasta to lose weight. <laughs> you, you don't. Um but um anyways, I um so that is posted on there, but I haven't been taking a lot of pictures and stuff like that because we've just been eating. I put that upside down. Oh well, nobody cares. Nobody will know. All right, so we've just been eating, um, eating, and but I did get a picture done of that, and it was really really good. Um, filling makes great leftovers, that kind of stuff. So that's always that's always nice. Um, I feel like I need more. Don't you feel like you need more? Because there's like, there's still space. We should fill that in. So proud. Enjoy the day. Smile. Let's see. It feels like there should be something right there, don't you think? Let's do a word sticker. Something like that. What do you think? Look good? Oh, date. We need a date. And we'll use the green for the date. And I'm just going to put it up here. There we go. With what? Should we put a little heart, right? Yep, let's do a pink heart. Just a way to one. 
I love simple stories. Um, hearts and stuff. They do cute, cute hearts. And lots of them. All right, you guys. I'm going to go fill in my memories. I will put a picture after this. And if you have questions, comments, concerns, all that kind of good stuff, leave them down below. I will have the link to the recipe for um, that uh, squash dish. It's not squash dish. I just put it in squash dish. I can't remember the name of it right now. But it'll be down below, too, if you want. It's super simple filling. And it does make really, really good leftovers. It's creamy and savory and I, I think you, anybody'd like it it'd be really good paired with if, if you don't want to do the plant base it'd be really good paired with something too as like the main thing with a small piece of meat because you do understand that you do not have to be perfect right but it's a matter of instead of having a half a plate of meat and cheese or three quarters of a plate of meat and cheese and a little bit of vegetables you have three quarters of a plate of vegetables and you have a little tiny bit of meat and cheese now i don't subscribe to that but you could do that that is okay <laughs> anything is better than nothing something but anyways so am i froze Anyways, so I will see you guys in the next video. Um, have a wonderful day. Talk to you later. Bye!